Hello, fellow brawlers. Okay, Carl time is time to brawl. And yes, I did shave. I'm rebalancing every single brawler in the game, and we don't care about the noobs. We don't care about the people that aren't noobs but are also not pros. We're rebalancing every brawler for the competitive meta. This video is meant to be taken very seriously. And if you disagree with, <laughs> I'm just kidding. Don't take this too seriously. I'm just having fun here. First up, we got Shelly. She's the first brawler you unlock. She's the last brawler you'll play once you reach the competitive meta. Supercell can't buff her because otherwise the noobs are gonna think she's way too strong. But we don't care about them, do we? <laughs> okay, no. We do care. We just don't care about their meta. For her change, I would increase her movement speed from normal to fast. So she wouldn't deal as much damage as Bull and Daryl, but she also has a little bit more range than them. So she's still a little bit different, but can kind of move around the map better. Okay, next we have Nita, and her problem right now is that it takes forever to charge her super, and then when she finally does, someone just gets her bear destroyed immediately. Like, Bruce just gets destroyed super easily. So either she needs to charge her super with one less attack, or Bruce needs like a 5% HP buff. Now Colt's a tough brawler to balance, because he does so much damage with his shots, but it's so hard to hit his shots with them, right? I think to give him just a little bit more of a competitive edge, I would increase his reload speed so that he could deal more damage a little bit more consistently, even if you're not hitting all of your shots, because, you know, with each attack, at least you're gonna hit, like, at least one bullet unless you're just, like, terrible at the game. And if you're watching this channel, chances are you're probably not terrible at the game, unless that's the only reason why you're watching this channel. Okay, next we have Bull, and here's my idea for him, okay? Make it so that his charging, his dash with his super, he moves even faster during it. So so it's not quite as fast as like a Daryl super roll, but it goes further and he's able to get there faster. His stomper gadget would be more useful. His super would allow him to escape more often. And I wouldn't even mind if they like decrease the super range to compensate for the buff. Although now that I'm thinking about it, that's exactly Daryl. So no, let's just increase the range of his super. That'd be great. <laughs> Next we have Jesse. And the thing with Jesse is that her, her turrets projectiles just are, are, they're too easy to avoid. I like her turrets range, but I would like the projectile speed to be increased just a little bit so that like, you know, it, it's, actually a little bit of a threat higher up in trophies. Even still, it would be easy to counter if you're playing like a thrower or something like that. So I think that'd be fair. Next is Brock, who I would say is pretty balanced right now. So I wouldn't make any crazy changes to him, but I might increase the reload speed that he has just a tiny bit. So his attacks are a lot easier to hit. I'm not saying a big change or something like that, but this would actually allow his rocket number four gadget or star power to be a little bit more useful. Next is Dynamite, whose attacks are just a little bit too easy to dodge. He deals plenty of damage already, just needs to be able to hit his enemies a little bit more consistently, which is why I would make the bomb explode just a little bit faster so he could win those 1v1 situations a little bit better. Next is Bo, who's actually really good right now, but both of his gadgets aren't. <laughs> They're actually both pretty awful. I just think he needs at least just one good gadget, okay? I think they could either improve the ones that he currently has or give him a totally new gadget that replaces one of them. Maybe one that even plants a single mine wherever he's standing. Kind of similar to Bell, right? But like, but it, it acts just like one of his mines, which, oh my gosh, I would love that. That would be awesome. Up next is Tick, and I would just delete him from the game. Oh, I'm sorry. I... I can't do that. Okay. Well, there you have it, guys. I can't do that. Okay, well, Tick is staying. I would just buff his Mind Mania gadget somehow so it's a little bit better than, or not even better than, just like somewhat useful in comparison to Last Hurrah, okay? They could make it so that the mines deal a little bit additional damage or maybe so that they stay on the ground a little bit longer so, like, people can't walk over to it for a few seconds before they explode. You know, that, that's an idea. Although, we could just remove his gadgets and make him super weak. That's basically like removing him from the game. Next is 8-Bit, who relies super heavily on his super. So I think that either we allow, you know what, actually, I like the idea of nerfing his super damage increase and buffing how fast he's able to charge it up by just a little bit, you know? That way he's able to get it up just a little bit more frequently, but it's not so crazily Im impactful because it's not going to be as strong as it currently is at the moment. Next is M's, and if I'm being completely honest, I'm kind of sick against facing off against M's and Sandy. I don't know what it is about those two, but I think M's deserves a very small damage nerf because it's, it's honestly really easy to hit her attack twice on somebody and be able to like, I mean, that, that damage racks up so much. And it's even easier with her friend zone or gadget. She pretty much has no weak spots. So like, I think a, an attack nerf would be solid. Maybe Maybe th four, four percent. By the way, I've kept track of all of Supercell's buffs and nerfs in the past. Three percent or less is a really small change. Four to seven percent is like a medium change. And then anything higher than that is a pretty big change, at least when it comes to attack damage and HP. Next, we have Stu. And once Stu charges up his super, it is easier for him to keep charging it up and over and over again, assassinating brawlers left and right. And I think that decreasing his range would make him just, just a little bit more difficult to use, make it a little bit more difficult to charge up his super. And I think that he would still be an excellent brawler at close range. 
range, okay? He just barely fall from the S tier into the F and the, to the A tier, and he's still really good. And maybe I'm biased, but I just really hate facing off against really good stew players. They're the worst. We're done with Trophy Road Brawlers. Now let's do the Rare Brawlers. Why do we call them rare? I still don't understand. El Primo was one of the best brawlers in the game when the supercharged trait was introduced into the game. Then it got nerfed, and now he's a low tier brawler who uh, really kind of struggles right now. I think there's a really nice sweet spot between when they first released that trait and after they have nerfed it into oblivion that could make El Primo a little bit of a balanced brawler right now. I don't know exactly what the percentages are right now, but somewhere between there, maybe just a little bit of a buff to that increase the supercharge rate that he gets would be helpful for El Primo, I think. Next is Barley, and Barley's star powers both add fixed numbers to his main attack rather than percentages. So when the max level for brawlers increased from power 9 to power 11, it was kind of like an indirect nerf to his star power. So I think they need to make it so that the healing or the additional damage that comes from his star powers is actually scaled according to his current level. Next is Poco, and his strongest way to heal his teammates is obviously with his super. But right now, that's getting countered pretty hard by Crow and Byron's star power. So I think that he should be able to heal a little bit more with his Decapo star power or his tuning fork gadget. So I would buff the amount of healing that those provide by 5 to 10%. Next is Rosa, whose second star power is pretty much never used because her first star power is just so much better, okay? I think they either need to increase the damage that it does even more, or it should just be totally reworked or like, yeah, they, they could make it a part of her, her base kit and then add another star power into the game. Up next are the super rare brawlers, which aren't much more rare than uh, the rare brawlers. What's up with Rico's multi-ball launcher gadget, okay? It's just like, it's never been that great, but then they added his other gadget into the game and nobody's using multi-ball launcher right now. You guys aren't, right? I think a cool buff to that catch would be to set those balls that he launches on fire so that they burn everything that they pass through. That way, if you got hit by it, even if you don't take a ton of damage, it would at least prevent you from healing for a little bit longer. Daryl's recoiling rotator gadget kind of has a similar problem and like it's, it's out of control. You don't ever get a whole lot of use out of it. I mean, it is useful to charge up your super a little bit, but I think they could increase the amount of damage that each projectile does or maybe increase the number of projectiles that it does and decrease the amount of charging that it happens. So like you charge your super just as much as you would before, but now you're more likely to actually deal a little bit of damage to somebody that's like further away from you. Okay, Penny. Penny, poor, poor, poor Penny. Okay, she's so bad right now, okay? There are so many different things we could do to Penny, okay? Her, her attack projectile speed could actually be increased a little bit. Her super could charge a little bit faster. Her last blast star power could be improved. But what I think would be the most useful buff to Penny would be to increase the damage from her main attack. They wouldn't even have to increase the splash damage, just more damage to her attack so she can three shot a few more brawlers. Maybe like a 5%, 5%. That, that, that sounds good, right? Like Supercell's releasing all these brawlers that can deal so much damage. It's 5% for Penny. We should start a hashtag. 5% for Penny. That's uh, never mind. Don't, don't start that hashtag. That's a dumb hashtag to start. Sure, there are more important things going on in the world. Next, we have Carl. And the biggest issue with Carl is how fragile his super is, okay? There are so many abilities in the game that can easily interrupt it. And it's especially easy to stop because of how close he has to be in order to, to, to deal damage with it, okay? I like the idea of decreasing the speed that you get from this ability, but increasing the range, the attack range out from him so that you can actually like stay a little bit further away from brawlers, but you'll deal a little bit of damage, maybe even decrease the damage depending on how strong the buff is. Okay, Jackie was actually really strong when she was first released because of how fast her she could unload her attacks. They nerfed that pretty hard, honestly, and it might be time for them to buff that up just a little bit, okay? Her new gadget could also use a little bit more range than it does right now. I mean, it's, it's, it's pretty small, so that would be some nice love for Jackie. Now we've got the epic brawlers, and these brawlers truly are epic. Next is Piper, and honestly, I really like where Piper is in the meta right now, and I wouldn't change any major things to her, okay? If I did have to pick something, which is what I have to do in this video, I'd probably decrease the range of her homemade recipe gadget just a little bit, okay? But to make up for that nerf, I'd want to increase the range of her super just a, a little bit or something like that. Next is Pam, and Pam's kind of like Piper. I, I really like where she's at right now. I will say, though, that her pulse modulator gadget isn't that good, so maybe we could buff that by, like, 10%. Okay, Frank's kind of tricky because he, he can either be like ridiculously overpowered or super weak depending on it. I mean, he's he's so interesting. But I think a good buff to Frank would be to increase the range of his attack by by just a little bit. I'm talking one third of a tile. There are just so many brawlers in the game right now that just straight up bully Frank. And you know, Frank Frank has had enough. He, he needs a little bit more range. Okay, BB's actually starting to see a little bit more gameplay since her health was recently buffed, but I still think she could be improved just a little bit. Okay, either a buff to her batting sand star power or possibly an extra a second to the slow added from her second gadget since it can it, it has such a long range and can sometimes slow brawlers that are too far away for her to even get close to like it's like sweet you hit me from 30 tiles away by the time BB gets over there it's like it's not a problem anymore next is B and even though B's honeycomb star power recently got buffed I 
always felt like it's a it's it's her star power is just it's a little counterproductive for B, okay? She has infinite ammo, and yet why would you hold on to a supercharged shot so that you can actually like have you like no, if if you can attack somebody, like like if somebody can attack B, she can attack them too. So why would you have that shield if she has her supercharged shot when you could just kill them with your supercharged shot? It's a little weird. One idea for another star power would be a small damage increase to her attacks that are like not supercharged. Kind of like Barley's extra noxious star power, but like, you know, half of her attacks, I guess, because those ones that their non-charged attacks are so weak. Next is Nani, and Nani's attacks can provide a lot of control. They can deal so much damage if you just so happen to hit the perfect spot on them. But a close range, it's kind of tough to aim, okay? <laughs> I think that it'd be a little bit too strong to widen her attacks, even at close range, but maybe if they could increase the rate of fire, then she'd have just a little bit of a chance at hitting enemies that are in, like, right in her face. And by that, I specifically mean allowing her to unload her attacks just a little bit faster. Next, we have Edgar, and there are so many abilities in the game that can just push him back away, and he just gets shut down with his super by, by a lot of brawlers, like, and he's in a tough spot right now. I don't know if you guys watched my tier list video, which you should if you haven't. There's a link right there. He was rated worse than the competitive matter right now and an increase to his attack range would just just a tiny bit just a little bit okay that would help him do a little bit better in those 1v1 situations even if he does happen to get knocked away now griff has a really strong super but it can be tough to charge up if he's not facing any tanks because his attack range isn't very good in comparison to a lot of the long range brawlers in the game and if you are facing off against brawlers that are like a medium range then chances are you're only going to hit like one two maybe three of the nine coins that he shoots off with each attack that's why i think it would be a little bit more consistent if his attack range was just a little bit longer and they could even shorten his super range to compensate for the buff because his super range is just like way out there like it's unnecessarily large decrease that a little bit increase his attack range make him a little bit more viable now grom was the strongest brawler in the game when he was first released and he <laughs> was just insane because he had good range and he used to deal very well with close range combat just fine they nerfed the time that it takes to throw bombs up close to him and i think they may have nerfed it just a little too hard because his attacks are uh, close range are just I mean, they're embarrassingly easy to dodge now. Like, it's, 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 it's it, he struggles. Like, he's even worse than Dynamite in some instances, I would say. Next, we got Bonnie. And uh, just because Bonnie's not out yet doesn't mean that she's not too strong. Now, I'm still being very speculative here. However, she does feel very strong in her melee form, which is why I would decrease the damage that she deals in her melee form just a little bit. And also, I think it's a little strange that she always respawns from her in her cannon mode. And I would like to see her respawn in whichever mode she was in last so that you have to recharge your super every time you want to swap. And up next, we got the Mythic Brawlers, and they're mythical, I guess? I What does that even mean? Honestly, I don't think it'd be unfair to make it so that his Coiled Snake Star Power made his third attack always be the long dash, similar to, like, Ash's first bash star power. And that, I mean, that that could honestly break Mortis. He might be way too strong then, but we could tone him down after that, after we find that sweet spot. I don't know. It's, it's tricky. Next, we have Terra, and Terra honestly seems pretty balanced right now, and the only thing that I can think of that I might consider changing is her healing shade star power. If she can get one behind her and her teammates, <laughs> the amount of healing that it gives, guys, it is insane. It is so insane. It's ridiculous. Ridiculous, and it's very difficult to, to destroy it, okay? We could just decrease its health, but I think the better thing to do to the shadow is to decrease the amount of healing that it does. Next is Gene, who obviously needs a buff to his Spirit Slap Star Power. Is anybody using that? I mean, I'm not using it. The thing with Gene is if you have his super, his super can completely change the tide of the of the game, how it is. And so, like, I, it's not great to hold onto his super when you can use it and make a game-changing play, okay? What instead would be better is if he got a buff to his attack damage for like the next five seconds after using his super. That way he's a lot stronger when he actually does pull somebody and can take out some more brawlers with his attacks. However, the damage increase right now is just way too strong for what I'm suggesting, which is why you probably want to tone that down after we figure out kind of like a little bit of a middle ground, but at least then he'd be a little bit easier to balance. Next is Max, and Max's sneaky sneakers gadget has never really been used in the competitive meta. I don't see a way that buffing it will help it, and I don't even know how I would buff it. Maybe maybe like a, a health buff after you respawn spawn or or maybe it does actually revive her if she happens to die or something like that i don't know but a cool replacement could be a gadget that actually shortens the range of her attacks but increases the number of projectiles for a few shots that way she becomes like a clone
close range just assassin just really fast speeding up you know i mean i think that sounds a lot of fun next is mr p who struggles the most when brawlers come close to him because all they have to do is run straight toward him and his attacks will only ever hit them once okay if they decrease the damage of his attack after the bounce and increase the damage of his attack before the bounce that would help him him just a little bit in some of those situations make him a little bit more competitive and would also make him less reliant on him actually being able to hit both shots from a long distance away next is sprout who struggles at close range but if there is a spot with a lot of walls no brawler locks it down better than it does okay its attack range probably doesn't need to be nerfed but the distance that the projectiles actually travel after bouncing may need to be a little, just decreased just a little bit oh uh, next we have byron and byron is really tricky because he's he's so good and he has been so good for so long but he's a support brawler and not everybody is using him outside of the competitive meta i think that he should receive some sort of a nerf and i don't know the best way to do it but i like the idea of decreasing the healing from his attack maybe just like five percent less healing overall across the board because at the moment he's overshadowing pam and poco and the other healers i think i just named them all <laughs> and i'd like to see them shine in the meta a little bit more okay next we got squeak <laughs> who received emergency nerfs recently because uh, that slow is way too long even with the nerf it is still very clear that it is the better option out of the two gadgets and it is still very broken and they may need to nerf it more not may need to they need to i think i like the idea of them decreasing the radius of the slowing area that'd be a little bit more useful or honestly it sometimes it feels like you left the radius and you're still slow for a second or two after you leave i would like it so that once you're out of that radius boom you're done the slow's gone you're ready to go next legendary brawlers who are actually legendary yeah no questions about that this might be a little controversial guys but i think the range of spikes main attack after it blows up needs a little bit of a nerf in fact it is one of the longest range attacks in the game if you happen to actually hit your attacks in the perfect area and it's just a little bit, bit too much map control for how much effort it takes he's legendary but he doesn't have to be overpowered speaking of overpowered we got crow who's I, I wouldn't say overpowered actually okay but the only reason why i put him in the s tier is because of his slowing toxin gadget that gadget alone needs an absolute nerf and the, even if it's like a, a, a full second of that slow five seconds of slow to the entire enemy team if you have them all poisoned that's way too much and it's just too strong I would nerf it to a four second maybe even three and a half seconds and then I would increase some other stats for crow so that he's actually viable without the single gadget that makes him useful next is Leon and I'm not sure if his invisi heal star power is too strong but it's definitely one of the best star powers in the game and it's almost always better to use that instead of his other star power I think indeed it's just a small nerf to how much it heals maybe five percent maybe ten percent and you know what while we're at it let's make his smoke trail star power make him even faster that's right, super speedy Leon. I like that idea. Now, Sandy is another brawler whose gadgets are very imbalanced, okay? His sleep stimulator gadget would be more useful if he just recovered health at a really fast pace the entire time he's asleep instead of having to heal all of his health all at once at the very end of those two seconds. That way, it's like a super nap. He's like, but if he gets hit in it, he's not going to immediately die, you know? And I don't want it to heal up so fast that, like, it's impossible to kill him while he's asleep, but you get the idea. Next is Amber, whose Scorch and Siphon star power just isn't very good since her oil is much better better if used offensively instead of sitting next to amber okay it does work with her wild flame star power because she can have two puddles on at the time so she can use one on defense to like reload and use one on offense but at the same time it's really easy to accidentally light the the puddle on fire which is why i would like a little bit of a rework maybe just increase her reload speed just overall but not as fast as it currently is when she's standing next to the puddle next is meg who absolutely needs some sort of a maybe a rework or an improvement to her heavy metal star power she only gets her super up like maybe once or twice every single map in a competitive match maybe three times Times. maybe maybe but the, the maybe they could increase the blast radius or make it deal more damage or maybe even destroy walls then it might be a little bit more useful maybe it blasts her back to safety or something like that and finally we have the chromatic brawlers and who knows what that means next is gale whose star powers are really good at the moment because each of them can not only help him out in 1v1s but they can help your teammates in mashups as well okay that being the case i like the idea of a four percent damage nerf to his attack next is surge and it became very obvious that he needed an emergency nerf once they had his recent rework and they made it a lot better just one level for 10 seconds it's it's much better he's dropped pretty far down in the meta so they should either increase the gadget to only one upgrade or increase the time or bring it back up to two seconds to cut the time in half that way he's supercharged for like five seconds but you know it's not as strong since then he's dropped pretty far down in the meta so what i think they should do is they should make it so that it is still just one upgrade but they increase the time from 10 seconds to like 15 
seconds, maybe even 20 seconds, or they bring back the two upgrades, but cut the time in half. So it's only five seconds. In fact, I really like that idea. But then what I want to have happen is so that his super doesn't knock back when you jump onto people like that's it's very frustrating, annoying, but I, I don't know. Maybe, maybe it's fine. I, just, I don't know about the knockback. The knockback, I'm iffy on. I might not like it. Next is Colette, who seems like a brawler that's like really difficult to balance because she's just, she plays so different than any of the other brawlers in the game. One change that I think would be fun is to increase the speed of her super. She would then be able to hit more targets and she'd be a little bit harder to hit, a little bit less. But like the thing is right now, like she's just a sitting duck. When she uses her super and comes all the way back, you know where she's going to be. So you have your attacks ready to go as soon as she lands there. And increasing the speed of her super is going to make that super a little bit less of an, a liability. Now, Lou has some very good abilities and a very powerful super, but sometimes it takes a while for those abilities to actually get going because his main attacks are hard to aim. I would like them to increase the speed of his projectiles attack by just a little bit or make them just a little bit wider, okay? I don't want it to be too easy to play, but then he would actually be able to benefit from hypothermia and charge up his super a little bit more often. Next is Colonel Ruffs, and he is in a very good spot in the meta right now, but if I were to change something about him, I would nerf how much his super increases brawler stats, okay? The damage boost can stay the same, but the health increase might need to come down a little bit because like some brawlers are pretty like almost impossible to defeat with how much health they can gain. Next is Bell, and I have said this before and I'll say it again, Grounded is a terrible star power <laughs> I've suggested a lot of ways to fix the star power in some of my pre previous videos, and I'm still waiting for this ability to get either a change or a buff, okay? If they were to rework the star power completely, I think it'd be cool if her star power made it so that whatever is marked by her super always stays visible, right? You get that, Rosa? Sorry, Rosa. We know where you are until you die. Like... How cool, that would, that would be such an interesting trade-off. It would actually make it, her super like a little bit of a, a reason to use her super. Next is Buzz, who's been bumped down because there are so many abilities that counter his super, okay? I recommend a 4% health increase so that he can still do a little bit of damage to brawlers that knock him back after he pulls himself over to them and, you know, hopefully survive just a little bit longer before he dies. Next, we have Ash, who might need his health nerfs a little bit to back what it was when he was first released, okay? He's still able to stay alive a little bit too long, in my opinion, thanks to his chill pill gadget, and he's very hard to take down if he has a buy on his team, okay? If Ash manages to fill his rage and his health bar, there's just not very many brawlers that can stop him. He's just, he's insane. Next is Lola, whose freeze frame gadget right now is just really good, and it needs a little bit of a nerf. I'm not sure whether I would nerf the amount that the gadget is activated for, like, so that it's not there for so long, or if I would nerf the, the strength of the shield, but either one would just be a great start for that. Next is Fang, who recently got hit with a ton of nerfs, and it's looking like they might have been a little bit too hard on him. I mean, all of us were kind of sick of Fang being too strong, right? Like, I'm, I'm fine with it being a little too hard. Maybe Super Silk can apply this in, like, six months from now, but I would bring his super damage back up to where it was before they nerfed it, because neither Roundhouse Kick nor Fresh Kicks are nearly as strong as they used to be. Now we have Eve, who was named the best brawler in my last tier list. She got nerfed a lot, and it's still just crazy good. I think it's her second star power that makes her a little bit OP, and I think the best thing to do is to decrease the, the amount of damage that the spawn from that star power actually deals to enemies. And if that's not enough, they could decrease the amount of health that all of her spawns have because, she, I mean, let's be honest, her spawns are what's really annoying. And finally, we've got Janet, who is our newest brawler recently released in this season. And it may take a little bit more time to accurately balance and find a good opinion of how strong she is. But for now, her super seems a little too out of control and she'd be a little bit more fun to play if you could actually land your super when you want it. For example, if you're flying around for only three out of the seven seconds, you just tap the super again and she would immediately land. Maybe she would even deal some damage when she lands and you do that. I, I don't know what the best thing is, but right now it's just a little weird. But those are just some things that I would do to balance the meta right now. And I wanted to mention that all these, they're just my opinion. I didn't get any pro feedback to make this video or anything like that. And I'm sure you guys are going to disagree with a lot of things that I have said. Like I said, this is not to be taken too seriously. But I still want to know what you guys' opinions are. So let me know in the comment section below. And do not forget to subscribe so you can watch some future awesome Brawl Stars videos, which I love making, by the way. I also love making class mini videos and free fire videos. So you can subscribe to those channels and check out this Brawl Stars video right here. For now, this is Kairos. I'm ticking by. We will see you in Brawl Stars.